Hey GMAT Rockstars, today we're gonna discuss five amazing tips to excel in the data insight section of your GMAT exam. Let's get started. Tip number one. First, you have to master each verbal and corn topic because in the data insight section, you can find a critical reasoning question of verbal uh, topic in the form of two-part analysis question. You can find any quant topic asked as a data sufficiency question in the data insight section. That is why the first step is make sure each verbal and quant topic you have solved really well. There comes the tip number two, a daily reading routine, very important. Please have a habit of reading business columns, uh, reading the table analysis, reading the business analysis. This will gonna build analytical skills and comprehension skills because data inside section in, uh, involves a lot of reading. All right, there comes the tip number three. Very interesting. Daily and time practice, right? So make sure once you are done with the corn topics, verbal topics, and you are and you are thorough with the basic basics of the types of questions that have been asked in the data insight section, like data sufficiency, graphic interpretation, uh, multi-source reasoning, two-part analysis, table analysis. You start solving each of them one by one. For example, data sufficiency solve ample number of questions, so you mastered it. Then you go to graphic interpretation. Go to table analysis, go to multi-source reasoning, go to two-part analysis, and so on. So once you so go like this, and first you conquer each of the question type, and then only move to the next question type. All right. The next tip is very important. That is a tip number four. That is review and categorize your mistakes. When you have solved a particular question type, right, or a particular set, always review it. Which kind of question you got wrong? Are the questions you you were not able to solve, or you got a question wrong because because you have not analyzed the answer choices correctly? Whatever the reason is, try to figure out the reason reason why you are getting a particular question wrong, and then you work on work to eliminate that that mistake again. All right, and there comes the tip number five, very important. Once you have mastered each and every question type by doing good number of questions, then you start solving them as a mix now. That is the way you're gonna get the data inside section in your GMAT exam. So solve section-wise practice and try to uh, give, a, give the time that you have exactly in the GMAT exam and number of questions exactly as in the GMAT exam. So that you are well prepared to tackle the section in the real GMAT exam. Make sure that you analyze after solving each section, the mistakes that you have done, your weak areas, and then practice to overcome those weak areas. That will make you the master in the data inside section. I hope you really had a great time. For more such tips and, and tricks, do subscribe the channel and hit the like button. And I am waiting to see all of you in my next video. Till then, thank you so much.